welcome to my youtube channel my name is Jacqueline Silva and I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here I went ahead and I already did my eyebrows and I primed already this eyeshadow I went in with soft glam and I'll show you the colors that I used for my transition okay so I used orange soda and burnt orange for my transition colors okay so after my transition color I used burnt orange and raw sienna from my Rena modern renaissance palette and i did them together and i just used a fluffy brush that came in my naked palette and i'm just going to be doing like circular circular like motions and putting it in my crease So I will be taking this brush right here and I will be taking my 3502 palette and I'll be taking this color right here and I'll just be applying it to my crease, nothing above it. I'm going to be taking this little brush right here and it came with also one of my naked palettes and it's a little smaller for your brush from the other one but it's pretty much the same and I'm just going to be blending out <clears throat> the red that I have in there into the brown that's why I said don't don't do anything above the crease because either way you're going to be blending it out and then you just pack it on there until it looks good okay so now I'm going to be taking my subculture palette and I'm going to be using the new wave and the edge mixed together and I'm just going to be blending it in to my crease also just a little bit above my crease so that it could transition the shade up here and not towards the inside and this is just really quick and easy just to get a little bit of color in it and then I will be taking the same brush that I used earlier the naked one the smaller one and I'm just gonna be blending that out and I'll probably take a little bit more red that I was using on the Morphe 3502 palette and I'll just pack it in there and then with the same little fluffy brush right here I will be blending all of it out okay now since I'm done with that I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take this dark blue over here with this purple mixed in together and this one is going to be the same like the red so it's not going to be up the crease but it's going to be down more of the crease and I like using a small brush so that it could just focus on the crease and not anywhere else okay so now I'm going to be taking this brush and it also came well I bought the little naked brushes and this one came with that little pack and I'm going to be taking the this purple again and I'm just gonna use the next shade towards it towards the other blue and I'm gonna mix it in just because I want it to be a little bit darker and then I'll be taking the small fluffy little brush from the naked palette and I'm gonna be blending all of it out okay now this I just got it in a little pack of brushes nothing too special and I'm gonna be taking this blue right here and the top blue over here and I'm gonna be blending it together and putting it at the bottom of my crease also and then just with another clean brush any kind of brush just start blending it all together because you don't want any harsh lines Okay, now with the same brush that I took for the red eyeshadow, I'm just going to be applying it to the ends of my eye. Just to give it a more reddish look. And then with a blending brush, I will just blend out everything again. And with this fluffy little blending brush, I will blend all of this out just so that there's no harsh lines. And because it requires a lot of blending. 
And then with the same brush that I was using to apply the blues, I will take that again and I will apply it again just to make it darker. I'm going to take the other side of this little fluffy brush, which would be this side right here, and I'm going to be taking this blue right here and I will be putting it all on my eyelid. Okay, and now that I finished packing it on there, with the end of the naked brush, the little fluffy side right here, I will be blending it all out. Okay, so now that all of that is done, I will be applying some liquid eyeliner from LA Colors. You could use any eyeliner. Okay, and I kind of got a little bit on my eyelid, but that is totally fine, girl. Just grab your, grab your brush and just blend it out with the same that color that you were getting. You can even apply more to it. You'll be fine. Okay, so now that I'm done with the um, liquid eyeliner, I'm going to go in and take this pencil eyeliner. You could use any kind. I use the Smashbox always on gel liner and I'm just going to fill it in so that it doesn't look all glossy okay so now that I'm done with my eyeliner I'm gonna be getting this blue glitter off of my villain black magic palette and I'm gonna be applying it to my eyeliner with pencil like brush Okay, so now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to be applying my eyelashes. And my eyelashes are from Perspective Lines, from this little brand right here, and they're called Lexi. And they're these right here. I already have one on, obviously. And honestly, all I know is that I got this at Sephora by the eyelashes. They have a lot of eyelash glues and stuff. So I just picked one out. I didn't even read the name or anything because I just wanted some eyelash glue. Okay, so now that I'm done putting my eyelashes on, I am going to take these two colors right here with a small little fluffy brush i'm going to be taking these two little colors right here and then i'm going to go on with these two colors right here and then i'm going to go on with my anastasia one and i'll tell you whenever i get there but for now use these two colors right here okay and then you're just going to be applying them to the bottom lash line now i'm going to be taking these two blues right here and I will be applying them to the bottom lash line also now with my Anastasia modern renaissance I will be using these two colors right here and I will just be applying them to the bottom lash line also okay so now that I'm all done with the eyeshadows I will be applying mascara just to set it all and I use the Tarte Tarteist little samples. Um, I bought this little bag and it came with like a lot of like little Tarte samples. It's pretty nice. Okay, so now that you're all done and setting everything, you pretty much just do your routine of your foundation. And I will be right back since this was just an eyeshadow look. I will be applying my foundation off camera. Okay guys, so this is a finished look with my foundation and everything on. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And please comment and tell me what y'all guys want me to do next.